Maybe I need to keep a one ghost spell. Make the initiate better. Excited about the new expansion. Well, I'm interested about them. Excitement might be a little bit of a strong word. Blizzard has a lot to prove that they can actually turn this game around. There is so much untapped power in this world. Why do you go? This is why I kept the one ghost spell. Although now I got another one ghost spell. So I guess I didn't really have to keep that. Any outcast spell that yeah, there would be like I beam for example. Would do some work. On the other hand, if I can't kill the Ken Retard, then it's better to just mana burn them. Burn it's just mana burn. Because I had the option to do both, though. I can do it like this. This is fine. Now, they can of course play one cost demons because of Ken Retard's discount, but that leaves them with only Void Walkers and Flame Imps. And Spirit Jailers. Already saw one Void Walker, so there's only five cards in that deck that are playable this turn. And one way or another that Ken Retard is going down next turn. Okay, so far so good. Do a Pantera. Grab an Altruis. Grabbing Altruis is never bad. Right? What do they have in for the Dark Lair? Do they have a Rock Race dead there? Resurrecting Can Retard and Voidwalker? They do. They have enough mana to play them both as well because Can Retard discounts the Voidwalker down to zero. Now they can do even more. That's a pretty, pretty big turn. There is so much power in this world. But I have to leave them with the Dark Lair up. Skull, but it's going to get trapped. I need the Rickling Horror, right? I'll leave them with the Dark Lair. That's how I believe this will go. This trades the... This trades the Ken Retard. I killed the 1-1. One, one. They could play the 5-5 five, five with Rush here. They wouldn't get Dark Lair value, but that could trade here. Dark Lair could value trade there. Reasonably good. Other than that, well, we'll see. Nice Wriggling Horror. That alone doesn't do much, though. Still need something more. They didn't have <laughs> more skulls. But those skulls, they're they're stuck. Will I be able to free your skull from the Will I be able to free your skull from the right side? Maybe eventually. Drawing cards is kind of counterproductive in that sense. I feel like I need to draw some cards. I think I need to kill these. I might be able to free the skull in a couple of turns. Then I could go for a big altruist turn. Can they get some giants going? That's a big question. If they can get a giant this turn. Can they get a buff for the giant? Nope. Just the giant. What if I do Altruist? Now they still have the rush minions left. Altruist just isn't that good. Can I do a skull? Even if I free a skull, I still need a couple of turns. I have the option to kill the giant. The option to push some damage. Let's just do this for now. Put them down to 11. They have the giant. They could have the 5-5 with rush. 
There is so much untapped power in this world. Another can retard, okay. So far discards the hand of Gul'dan. They hit the jackpot. They hit the jackpot with that soul fire. So that's nice. I would need to top deck like, one cost card, right? For the altruist to win here. Yeah, well, it works like this too. Feel like that's possible too. It's kind of hard to say. It was, I mean, it was so early. It was such an early well played that I don't even know how to interpret it. What does it even mean? Highlander Mage. Oh boy. They probably can't kill the Felfar Dead Eye. I'm going to give it a try. It's unlikely that they could kill it with two mana. Which means that then I could do hero power into mana feeder. But of course if they can actually kill that with two mana, then then everything works much less well for me. But the assumption here was that they cannot which in turn will allow me to do this. And, and do this. Now, at 3 mana, they might already be able to kill it. I might need to mana burn next turn, if they don't kill the minions. Big questions. They could also just like play a secret here, and it could be a flame ward. Not Zepris. Well, that's one early Zepris, isn't it? It is. It's going to give them a holy smite. I'm just a little, little unhappy about that. But I mean, what can I really do? Four mana. I'm getting a little bit more scary. I still believe in doing this. And hitting face. They don't have a way to copy or bounce, Zepris. Would be really sweet for a combustion. But I mean, when you play Wriggling Horror, you can't avoid that. Firebrand and one cost spell can also get things done. Yeah. Oh, still Stepper. 13 out of 21. 13 out of 21 to get the attack. That's a pretty good roll. There are not a lot of strong alternatives here. I whiff. That's tough. It sometimes happens. 13 out of 21. I was happy with those odds. Sometimes you need to need to do some. Do some plays. Oh, that ogre mancer. That's a good roll. They're going to get a bunch of 2 twos. I can't help it. I will have to get the Skull next turn and then do Ultras and Skull things. Yeah, I can't help that. Don't hit face. Yeah, I want to deal face damage. I'm clearing up with the Ultras in a couple of turns anyway. But I need to get that Skull to outcast position. I'm just hitting face here, and then doing the mana burn. Next turn is the skull, and the turn after that is going to be some kind of altruist play. To hopefully clear everything. We'll see. That was a good, good 5 mana card. Lots of stats. I'm not attacking next turn. If I can do a good deal again, not. If they don't happen to have a ooze, and I get a good deal again, not. I just might win instantly there. I 
Actually, I can't do Ilgenot and Ultras on the same turn yet. So scratch that. Okay. Then we just take the damage here. We've already seen the Zephyrus, so there's no Bloodlust coming. And I hope I don't pick up like Polkelt or something off the top. Because that would make it... Oh no, that was a great... <laughs> Well, but, oh, they had an ooze too. Top deck that ooze, sweet. Well, I think I have made perfect plays throughout this game, so I'm still happy. I have no no misgivings. I actually top deck the ball Kelt here. Which is the one card that I couldn't afford to top deck, that or the skull. This time it didn't work out for me. Now, in order to survive... I have to play my Altruis, otherwise I'm just dead. That's a little sad, of course, but... There's nothing else I can do. do, you see what must be done? Because then I can play the Dreadlord Spite. That's going to deal one damage. Altruis is going to deal one damage. With hero power, Pantera. And hit into that one. Probably need to play the initiate too. Obviously, mage should always have an answer here, so I don't think there's anything I can do. But that was still the perfect play for that position. So it's still better to do do the good plays than do bad plays. Even when the odds of getting rewarded are slim to none. Alright, that doesn't necessarily hit the Altruis. Well, that is going to kill my Altruis. But it might also backfire because this might leave the this might leave this an empty board. There's no reason to hit into the Altruis, you can go face. I mean that that Barrel is going to kill everything anyway. Now this got interesting. All of a sudden the game got interesting. Because I'm getting Skull of Gul'dan next turn. And the Skull of Gul'dan is going to get me the Warblades and the Still Stepper. Okay. I know there's no Entity. There could be another Wind Portal. Let's use that to check for that one. Nope, that's not there. Then we do a Paul Kelt. Then we'll do a Wriggling Horror, actually. The Mage in the face a little. Okay, so fair game, Flame Ward, Spellbender, Vaporize. There is on only 10 held on the board, so Reno would be a perfect clear. And they top deck Reno. But I couldn't put more than 10 held on the board. It was not possible to put more than 10 health on this board. There are certain risks of dying here. I have seen their ooze and I have seen their Zephyrus. They shouldn't be able to remove weapons. I don't think anyone runs two copies of weapon removal in addition to Zephyrus in that deck. So we're going for the Dead Eye. And the Ardrachi. And the Mana Burn. And the Hero Power. And I'm hitting face. But can I get a, get 16 damage next turn? I would need a little help. I would need a Twin Slice. It's one. Uh, it's 2 out of 8 to get a Twin Slice. I have 2 draws. And they must not get a counter spell. If they can top deck a counter spell here, that would of course solve their problems. Or taunt minion. Okay, that could be a counter spell now. That's a potential problem. That's not a twin slice. They have that spell that's random. Still separate time. Didn't get the Twin Slice. 
That's tough luck. If they have Frostbolt or something, they can win with just that. I still have to play everything here and go face, and hope that they don't have Lethal or Reno. There's no reason not to play everything. Could also be an Ice Barrier, of course. It was in fact an Ice Barrier. Well, then even Twin Slice would not have been lethal. And now, do they have the Amazing Reno? Or a Frostbolt or something? Nah, a Fireball off the top. Why didn't they kill me? They have multiple lethals? I guess they're just BMing. Like, every single person who thinks they're winning, they're BMing. I won the previous one anyway, but we'll see. Good evening, Indiano. They have the Frostbolt. Ah, they had another Fireball. Let's see, Do I keep a Twin Slice, perhaps. Why do so many streamers play Highland Raid? They like to play some bait decks. Hey, if they like, to like it, then why not? There's so very little to play at the moment. Highland Druid is one of the more recent decks, so... Maybe it's a little bit more fresh in minds of people. Let's try a Demon Companion. Okay. Gibbling's the Druid's best deck. Yeah, I, I, either Gibbling or then the... Either Gibbling or the Guardian Druid, but probably Gibbling. Just one Twin Slice here, I believe. Still the first form of that Grand Mummy. I can drop a Mana Burn here too. That means the Rogue can't do much this turn. I don't have anything great going on. Rogue can't dagger. That was like what I wanted. I wanted the Rogue not to be able to dagger. And probably not be able to play Minion, so they can't get value from that. Ooh, I do like the Mana Feeder here. Let's go. Coining the Battle Fiend. I think we're going for that. Let's coin the Battle Fiend. Get two minions on this board. Any tips on how to handle Penfang or Rogue? I think you need to develop tempo while removing theirs. That seems to be effective. Of course, depends on what you're playing. An evil miscreant. Now they have two luckies, they can play one lucky. If they got the damage lucky, that would be the best high roll of all time. They got exactly that. That makes me sad. War blades here. I think I want to kill the Foxy. I think I want to kill the Lucky too. Next turn I want to play the Polkeld. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. There's no way to tell which one is the Illusion either. This is more likely to be the Illusion. I need to get the Polkeld out there so that I can get Altruist soon. Can I leave the rogue with a spell damage minion? Can I leave the rogue with the Chendi Sparrow? Take my shadow step it. That one is more likely to be the illusion. I don't want to leave any Chendis. So I need a couple of turns here. If Rogue has a good turn now, then that's going to be a problem for me. I need the rogue to have a little bit of weak turn. No, no Edwin. So that I can get some skulls played. So far this looks pretty good. That just, you know... We're still going all face. Oh. They messed it up a little, that's nice. 
I get to do my skull. So I pick up the Altruis. Any lethal outs with Ilganoth? I don't think they're here yet. One, two, three, four, seven mana. You can do another War Blades. Don't swing with the War Blade next turn already. That's a swing phase here. Next turn we open with the altars and then go through these cards and hope that it's enough. They found a shadow step. So they get some luckies. I have at least four damage. But what do they have? They're looking for it when questing something like that. If they can grow it sufficiently, that might win the game. Give me a quest. They found the questing. How good are the other cards? How many can they play? Oh boy, those were pretty impressive. So, did they get cheap spells? I mean, if they didn't find any cheap spells, then... Well, this should be fine. This should be perfectly fine. Let's get rid of this board. And start dealing some damage. Well, it's okay. So, do, going, going at it like this. And next turn we have Ilginoth into Steel Steppers. And that should be lethal. Unless the rogue can freeze my face. They have to freeze my face. Is Taunt enough? Actually, Taunt might be enough. If they get the, got the Taunt lucky. Well, they didn't. And Patao. 22 damage and one very dead rogue thank you for watching if you enjoyed the show please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more